Air travelers frequently find that their in-flight experiences are different depending upon a number of variables. These include whether the flight is domestic or international, the length of a particular flight and the airline on which the passenger is traveling. In-flight amenities often include food and drinks, television and movies, Wi-Fi, power outlets, pillows and blankets. Food and beverage service, reduced during the pandemic, has resumed in near full capacity even for travelers in economy class. On domestic United Airlines UAL, get free report flights. Non-alcoholic beverages are complimentary on all flights. Alcoholic beverages are available for purchase. Flights of more than 500 miles on United will have food products such as snack boxes. On routes that travel more than 1,500 miles, United offers food and drinks for sale. Southwest Airlines Love, Get Free Report offers complimentary snacks and non-alcoholic drinks on domestic flights. Alcoholic drinks are available at prices ranging from $6 to $7. On Delta Airlines DAL, Get Free Report, domestic flights of 251 to 499 miles offer sweet and savory snacks and non-alcoholic beverages. On flights of more than 500 miles, alcoholic beverages are also available for purchase. American Airlines AAL, Get Free Report also offers complimentary snacks and non-alcoholic drinks. On domestic flights of 1,300 miles or more, beer is available for $8, wine for $9 and spirits for $10. On most international flights, travelers can expect expanded food and beverage service. One airline is limiting food servings. British Airways, which offers similar services on most of its flights, is now trying something new that could result in some passengers not getting meals at all. An internal company memo said the airline has a goal of cutting down on food waste created by hauling more than passengers will eat. The company's solution is to ration food by not carrying enough meals on flights for all passengers. Insiders at the Heathrow-based carrier, however, say they fear the new policy will result in some passengers going hungry, wrote Mateusz Maskzynski of Paddle Your Own Canoe PYOK. The thinking behind the new policy is that on certain long-haul flights, not all passengers will want to eat because they would prefer to forego the meal service and instead get as much sleep as possible. In the coming weeks, British Airways will put that theory to the test by no longer loading enough meals for every passenger on certain late-night and early-morning flights. Maskzynski wrote. He explained that the airline has experimented with this method of reducing waste before. British Airways insiders, however, claimed that previous experiments to reduce food waste at the airline meant customers had to go hungry because there weren't enough meals for everyone who wanted to eat. Maskzynski wrote. In response to criticism over the plans, the airline says it will be closely monitoring the trial and can quickly adjust meal loadings if necessary, he added. Gary Leff of View from the Wing had a couple of points to make about the plan. The amount of food eaten on board is less than what's loaded, and that does mean waste. They can estimate and build models for how much food they'll need, 